howdy do buckaroos welcome back to the channel just here at the shop on a nice quiet Sunday and got the little team member with me with her <laughs> hanging out with daddy shop hair can you say hi, hi. <laughs> but got the race truck in here and we are gonna work on the alignment today so I yep working on daddy's truck race truck so I didn't necessarily feel comfortable taking something like this to just a local alignment shop or a big chain alignment shop so we're actually gonna try and do it here in shop so I'm gonna show you guys the tools I'm gonna try and use which they I've used these tools before on a straight axle vehicle but kind of using these plates doesn't really work on a independent front suspension truck because as the suspension travels the angle of the knuckle changes and it changes your toe and everything so I am going to try and simulate I'm gonna show you the tools and explain how I'm gonna try and do it but I think it's gonna get us a lot closer than we are now which I'll show I'll flip the camera around and show you and I think this honestly will help us pick up time in the quarter mile it's gonna save wear and tear on these expensive meet Larry Hoosiers and it's just one step of everything just being the way it's supposed to be so I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you guys the tools and show you how it's kind of set up now all right so I got the camera flipped around here and as you can see got the steering wheel straight and I don't know how good it's gonna come out on camera but if you kind of look down the side of the truck this tire is kind of towed out <clears throat> and then if you go to this side this tire is towed out quite a bit like this one's easy to tell it's towed out and then this one not as much but it's still towed out and technically you want to tow in because as the suspension travels up when you launch the tires are gonna kind of want to come apart from each other so Sorry about the pause, had a flip-flop failure, had to go into dad mode for a second, but like I was showing you, the tires themselves are towed out quite a bit, and you actually want a tow-in scenario, and it keeps your truck tracking straight down the road, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it, and it's with these alignment plates. Now we use these a lot for like the Jeeps we build in the house. Or even you can get them close. Anything with the straight axle, they work amazing on. Because those are fixed in the way the knuckle is to the um, axle housing. So these toe plates, you take the wheel off, you bolt these onto the hub. They're universal style, so they have all different lug patterns. You bolt them onto the hub there on each side. And they're perfectly straight. And then you can measure on the front of the wheel and the back of the wheel. And that's how you can set your toe. And I'm going to set this with an eighth of an inch toe in. And it'll keep the truck tracking straight when you launch. It'll keep the wheels straight. Everything is going to be awesome. Less resistance while rolling because the tires aren't trying to drive away from each other. I think it's going to help a lot. Might even help 60 foot a little bit. We're going to find out. So, as I was saying, your suspension geometry travels as the independent goes up and down. So, I'm going to set it at ride height by jacking it up, setting the A-arms on jack stands, and taking the tires off and taking the weight off. So, all the weight of the truck is sitting on the jack stands on the A-arms, so it's simulating it at ride height. So, then we're going to bolt the, plate, uh, uh, bolt the plates up and try to align it that way, and I think it's going to at least get us way closer than what we are now. So let me get the GoPro fired up. I have it propped up right here, so we're gonna kind of get a bird's eye view. And I'm gonna get this thing jacked up, tires off on the jack stands, and we're gonna try and align this thing. Somewhere 
All right, as you guys can see, got her jacked up on jack stands under the control arms. <clears throat> Slicks off, plates on in place. So that way you stick your tape in this notch here. And if you could see in the time-lapse video from the GoPro, it I was just making sure I could get my tape across both ways and I can perfectly. It runs straight across there to the other side. Then you measure, put it here measure <clears throat> and then like I said I want about an eighth of an inch toe in so the rear measurement needs to be an eighth of an inch longer than the front measurement and then we'll be good to go so let me get the tape measure strung up here see if I can get it across with you guys watching See if I can hook it. Okay. Got her hooked. So let's look at that. That is 70 and a 16th in the front. So let's one second. Uh, sorry about that. So, 70 and 1 16th in the front. Mommy. Now, <coughs> should I get my tape measure back? So, then get her slung across here to the other side, right here. Sorry, you guys are kind of facing the ground at the moment. All right, looks like we got her hooked. Okay, so now we are at Seventy one and seven sixteenths. So that's weird. So judging by these measurements, seventy one and seven sixteenths. We're actually an inch and three eighths toed in. So your inch. And then the difference is, difference is 6 sixteenths, which is 3 eighths. So we're actually way too much toe in, which is weird because the tires didn't look that way. So we're going to adjust it anyways because that's still quite a bit over the eighth inch we want. But I don't know. This, to me, it looked like they were towed out, but that might have been... It's hard to tell with these soft sidewall slicks. The tire kind of likes to fold and move around, but... Like I said, these straight plates don't lie, so... So we're going to adjust that and go from there. So I'm just going to go find the wrench for these kryptonite tie rods and go from there. Alright, guys, so I didn't film me busting tie rods loose and... Full disclosure, I already have adjusted them, so I it was too much of a pain to try and hold the camera, get the tape measure over, bust these loose, adjust them, measure it two, three times before I got them where I wanted them. And but I am gonna sling the tape measure up here and show you a couple measurements. Alright, so on the front here, got the tape measure up, and we are at 71 and a quarter now. Take her to the back, and on the back here, 71 and 3 eighths. So the difference between a quarter, which we round up as 2 eighths, and 3 eighths is 1 eighth, which is exactly what I wanted, eighth inch toe in. So I'm going to probably start the GoPro back up, and we're going to tighten these up, get the wheels slapped back on, get it on the ground, and kind of see how the tires look like from there.
All right, guys, so we got her back on the ground, wheels back on, everything. And to me, that wheel's looking a lot straighter. It's kind of hard to tell because these fenders kind of curve in. But that's looking pretty straight. And that's looking pretty straight compared to the curve of the fender. Won't know for sure until I go drive it, but I think it's... I mean, obviously, you can look here. These were before measurements. This was... Let me switch to my righty. Front. Rear. Front. Rear. So the measurement in the front before was 70 and a 16th. The measure now, or the rear measurement was 71 and 7 sixteenths. So that's an inch and three eighths difference between the two. Towed in. So now we are at 71 and a quarter in the front, 71 and three eighths in the rear. Perfect eighth inch toe in, just how I wanted it. So, won't know for sure until we drive it. It's kind of some inclement weather outside currently, so I'm not going to drive it right now. But, hopefully that made a big difference. It's crazy what a, an alignment will do for a difference. So, hopefully it'll help everything. Less resistance rolling down the tracks. Tires aren't fighting each other too much. I'm trying to go straight. Hopefully it might help 60 foot a little bit. Who knows? Maybe that was our the secret so we're gonna find out all right guys so that was my version of a homebrew alignment on this thing I don't know how much of a difference it made but hopefully it made a big difference I feel a little bit better just having some concrete measurements on it because last time I tried to do that I literally just while it was sitting on the ground with these slicks on it just had a buddy go from one tire to the other and one tire to the other and I was, it was kind of on the top of the front, the bottom of the rear, so it wasn't a very good measurement, but it got it a little closer. Obviously not close enough, but now that we had the nice straight plates on it and was able to measure it, get her close, I have a good feeling that that's going to help a lot. And if not, it'll at least save on the slicks, not tearing them things up. So, I know it wasn't nothing too crazy, but it's just kind of interesting seeing those measurements like that and... It's really not that hard to do an alignment. Like I said, on like a straight axle vehicle, like a Ford or a Dodge or an older Chevy, these plates are primo. That's the way to do it. Then you're not paying an alignment shop and all that fancy stuff. Just some plates and some measurements. But we're gonna see how this worked on this thing. Like I said before, my reasoning of taking the wheels off and putting it on jack stands on the control arms was to get it at ride height so that way we would get the alignment correct where it sits at most of the time at ride height. So hopefully it did the trick. So thanks for watching guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Hopefully the next video is either me messing with some timing on this thing, maybe shed and wait, or it's going to be at the track. This is Sunday and our last Friday night race of the year is this Friday coming up. So may not have any more chances to do any more work to it we might just have to go out guns blazing with that the new intake the extra water math uh, alignment <laughs> and that slight little bump of timing i did and hopefully that'll get us to our record that we were at last time if not close i like i'd be happy with the 1299 like i said in the last video with the smaller injection pump it runs a lot smoother cleaner and hopefully almost as fast if not faster so Thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, like, share, subscribe, comment. You guys are awesome. We officially just passed 1,200 subscribers, which is unreal to me. So I really appreciate you guys watching, and I sure hope to see you on the next one.